What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught a Shell Gun, and I'm still pretty excited about that since, you know, Salamence. In this episode, we are going to do the Cycling Road. And hopefully get at least two new encounters. Let's see what we can do. We have a lot of trainers here, I know. Um, and I apologize for that, but get gone. See what Dragon Claw does. Oh. Okay, thought I was gonna do more than that. This is a Butterfree. So, let's go to Rowdy. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me, I apologize. There we go. Butterfree goes down. We need to do a lot of switch training. Swellow? Oh, I should have went to a uh, vocal. <laughs> That's fine. We'll do it right now. Not do much to me. Chocolate. Critical hit. Vocal man. Oh man. There's a 502 for level 32. Analyst Borns. And we can't get off the bike here. Oh, <gasps> we just dodged them. Okay, here's Route 17. We can get a new encounter, literally right here. Our encounter for Cycling Road is a Tentacool. We have a poison type in Muck, and we have a water type in, um, Polyrap. Jeez, I'm terrible today. However, this is good fodder for our brand new Gek Gekon. That was a crit. This might be... Okay, never mind. Okay, you know what? Let's headbutt. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> there we go. Go for the headbutt. Bop. How much experience? 435? Okay. That's good. <gasps> Okay, um, I need to, I can't pause, wait. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Let's use this guy as a, okay. Gekon is probably not, I don't have the experience share. Okay. Um, I'm going to heal him, and it's literally just strict switch training, is basically what this is right now. I should go in that other path, because I don't think there's any trainers in that path. And, boop. Oh, there's that guy. Let's take this path. I don't think... It's a notice. Watch out for discarded items. Trainer tips. All Pokemon are unique. Every Pokemon is at the same speed and level grow at different rates. That is EVs and IVs. Trainer tips. No one cares. And this is Tombow Celadon and Fuchsia. Or don't throw the game. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, 
Okay, here's Route 18. This is Route 18, which is another new encounter. Uh, let's get it. We are not using. We are using the super rod. Let. I can't get off the bike. Or did we already? What's this? Oh, uh, we already. Oh, we already got 18. All right. There isn't really much else for us to do. Okay. Um, there has to be another place. We have our encounter for Saffron. Did we get our encounter for Cerulean? Yes, I believe we did. Rock Tunnel, we got that Lavender Town. <sighs> no. We don't have an encounter for Lavender Town. We can't get an encounter in Lavender Town. We can. We can, however. Because this is still... No, this is Route 19. There are trainers here. <sighs> we can get an encounter right at this spot, though. What can we get at Route 19? Route 19 is... A bay leaf. Okay. Roselia as compared to bay leaf. I don't know. I'll have to think about this one. Considering how where is only level 20, I might I might just say no on the bay leaf. Um because we already have Sarah, and Sarah is already uh, is already leveled with everyone else. I'm gonna have to pass on the bay leaf. So no encounter for Route 19. There we go. Okay. So no encounter for Route 19, that's fine. Um There's no encounter there's no encounter for Pewter. Um, oops. Yeah, there's no there's no encounter for Viridian either. Um, Pewter City, we don't we can't get. There's Mount Moon, which I know which we are not we are we we will not talk about Mount Moon again. Uh, Cerulean. I want to say we do. Saffron we got at the Fighting Dojo. <laughs> um. Now that I th actually. What are the levels like in, in Silphco? Because we, we could go and do Silphco. Um, that's an option. And... Okay, we can use this elevator, but it's not- it's, the elevator is no good to us. We can scout it out. See what this guy has. 
If it's the rest of Saffron City, like it was at the Fighting Dojo where everyone's level 38, or even low 30, low 30s will be fine. See what these guys are. Twenty-five. Oh, jeez. Okay, we can do. We should have done this then instead of, you know, painted our asses and try to figure out where to go. We could have done this. Oh my. Well, we can see how much of this we can. Okay. I thought I was gonna do more than just literally just a little. Um. So what we'll probably do, since this is technically more, uh, more training, we could do Silco after we do, um, oh, I'm switching. We could do this after, uh, after training on Route 13, 14, 15, and finish off the rest of Cycling Road. Because that, we could do that because we will breeze through Silco then. Then, we could take care of Koga, get Surf, then go to the power plant. So, I mean, those are options. Dugong. Nope, Hada. I want Hada. So, by the time we get all of this done, we should be, should be, more than enough to take on Koga and Sabrina. And then Hada's gonna put in work at another Mewtwo? Um... And, uh, Hada's gonna put in a ton of- actually, no. And, uh, it might put us in line for, uh, Blaine as well. Barrier. That's fine. So, yeah. This should be fine. I'll, I'm happy with this. With what- with, uh, our plan now. Meganium? I don't really have a fire type. I'll keep Opalin. Let's do Shockwave. I just realized that next week I get back from my trip. I'm gonna have a long play session ahead of me. <laughs> That's fine. Synthesis. Now, this is the point. This is the point in time that I wish I had a fire user. Which Gekon technically is. He can learn Ember. Let's go, Rowdy. There's a Reflect, which is fine. And let's go, Wing Attack. Don't you dare use Synthesis. Meganium? You can stop at any point now. There's a Rage Leaf. Okay. That's fine. Do a wing attack. Please get a crit. Okay. You're gonna use Synthesis. No, Razor Leaf. Okay. That's fine. So this, that seems like a plan. Silcoon. We can take care of the Silcoon. There's a Reflect wear off, so wing, this wing attack should probably kill. There it is. Okay. So. So we scouted Silphco, we can do Silphco. 
Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna end it here. I know it's been a short episode. We're at 15 minutes. I know it's a short episode and I apologize. But with how everything is right now, um, I pretty much can't really do much else unless I do... It, like, the episode is too long in now for me to, to start and finish Selfco. Um, and by the time I finish Selfco, it'll pretty much be time then to do the grinding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the grinding first, then do Selfco, then do Fuchsia City. And get the uh, get the uh, get the marsh badge from Koga. Um, I think that sounds like a plan. The biggest thing is I need to do those routes. That's the biggest thing. So I think once I do that, we should be good to just sweep everything. So I'm gonna end it off here. And like I said, I apologize if this is a short episode. Um. This will be the last video. This is the last video to get your submissions in for whether or not we should use Vibrava. Now, however, because we caught Shellgun in the last episode, the need of having another dragon type is probably not that bad. Or is, um,. The chances of us using another dragon type is probably very slim. So if if you guys want me to use Vibrava over Salamence, which I don't understand why you would want me to do that, I think Vibrava might be now better off kept in the box in case Salamence goes down, which I highly, highly, highly think is not going to happen. So um, I'm going to leave it off here. This is your last chance. This is your last time to get your submissions in for Vibrava, whether or not it should be in the team or not. And until then, I'm gonna end it off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Or if you're watching this over on Vidme, be sure to hit that upvote button and follow for more videos. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.